Well, the people of Iraq will certainly have the same access that the international audience will have. It is a practice of the U.S. military that in an open hearing we allow family, we allow observers, we allow print reporters. Uh, it has not been our practice in the past to allow cameras inside. I think there is a concern that this is not a show trial. But I'm absolutely confident that the gentlemen and the ladies of the Iraqi press will adequ adequately record uh, what happens inside that courtroom so the readers can observe it through the written word. That was then uh, somewhat retracted. Um, but at the same time, there's also been uh, the suggestion that other uh, Shiite groups. Uh, there have been no tangible expressions uh, up to this point of rage or outrage being expressed to coalition forces. Uh, but the intangibles are out there. The soldiers clearly walk up and down the streets. Uh, the people that look at them look at them differently because of what they've seen. And the soldiers understand, and the Marines understand, that it's their responsibility to demonstrate to the people of Iraq that those pictures were horrible. Those pictures were unacceptable. But those pictures don't represent the 135,000 American Marines and soldiers that are doing the right thing every day. Now, we're not going to convince our Iraqi friends that today. We probably won't convince them that tomorrow. But every soldier, every Marine realizes that that doesn't stop them for the responsibility of getting out there, patrolling their area, maintaining a safe and secure environment, and convincing the people of Iraq that what they saw in those photos does not reflect the overwhelming majority of soldiers that are serving honorably in this country. لتعريضهم لمحاكمة يتم بخلالها طردهم من الجيش لأنهم لا يريدون البقاء في الجيش فيستخدمون هذه الأساليب للهروب من الخدمة